Hey, this is CJ with The Gist, and I'm gonna show you how to use a fully automated chatbot and how to build it in HubSpot. This is the formula that we recommend. You can literally just copy this for your own website. Before we begin, it's important to acknowledge that there's lots of different types of chatbots. There's chatbots that are generally designed to help you generate leads, some that are designed to help you serve and support customers or help people find information. And there's also chatbots, regardless of what their intended use case is, that are designed to hand off visitors to live agents, people on your team who can jump in and live chat. We're not talking about this right now. This is the chatbot for the smaller teams that don't have enough people that can reasonably staff or man or respond to chatbot inquiries. And you need it to be fully automated so it can be on your website all the time. I get that many people will say, this is not as good as if we had real live humans talking back. And I partially agree, but there are so many use cases where a simple fully automated bot like this helps people, your website visitors, get to the information they need quicker and easier. So it is likely an improvement from whatever you currently have or don't have. Here's the formula. First thing you have to do is just decide the branches. Right? Yes. Do you want to figure out how to go create chatbot, choose type, whatever? There are plenty of other tutorials that show you how to actually create this. What I want to talk about is once you know how to create it, how do you actually want to create a good one? First of all, start from scratch. Second of all, figure out what are the different options you want to give people. Generally speaking, I think there are five options that really work, especially for most B2B companies. The first is directing people to your solutions. So like, this is a qualified sales prospect. These are the people you wanna to talk to. The second is a general inquiry because you don't really want to confuse somebody who just has a random question with somebody who should be routed to a sales team, a deal should be created for them, so on and so forth. Third would be your clients. Maybe your client is on your website and they have a question or they need help. It depends on the business. Maybe your business, if that client is in that situation, has somebody to call or email, but depending on your business, this could also be a great thing to include in there. And then, are you constantly hiring? Do you want to field inquiries from people who may be interested in a job? And then I'm just browsing, and I'll show you why that's relevant in a second. So once you figure this out, you just build those options in there, and then if they're interested in your solutions, here's what you're gonna wanna do. First, make it conversational and gather their information. Hey, what's your name? They're gonna tell it to you. Then you're gonna say, oh, hey, thanks, name. Uh, and by the way, what's your email address? And then they're gonna provide that, and you're gonna say, cool, two more questions. First, what company do you work for? And how many employees does your company have? Now, this dev portal that I'm showing you is built for the payroll and HR industry. So employee count matters to how these companies in this industry qualify their prospects. But this is where you would wanna use one or two qualifying questions to help you size up the opportunity and determine if it's a fit and if so, you know, which person or team this should ultimately be routed to. Think about those, but don't make it too long because you wanna get somebody to the conversion point as soon as possible. Now we say, okay, what would you like to do next? Would you like to leave a message for our sales team or schedule a meeting right now? Again, chat with a live agent is not an option. This is a bot, a fully automated bot. So if they say, leave a message for our sales team, awesome, no problem, fill out this form here and a member of our team will follow up. What happens if they don't fill out the form? Good news, because you already gathered this information up front, you've gathered enough information to create a contact and company record. And we are going to enroll them in a follow-up workflow that is gonna notify your team that you just converted a new visitor through the chatbot, even if they don't fill out the form. We'll get to that in a second. The other option is schedule a meeting right now. So we say, great, here's a calendar. Go ahead and book a meeting with a member of our team. Uh, or you can branch it and assign it to a specific person. And then literally the meeting scheduling link will show up inside the bot and they could pick a day and then a time and boom, the meeting is booked. And I'll tell you what, there is nothing a sales rep loves more than getting a notification saying, so-and-so from XYZ company just came through our chat bot and booked a meeting with you. You have a new sales call next Tuesday. It's awesome. 
So that's the first path, the interested in your solutions. Now, general inquiry inquiry is, th honestly, this, this is where you may wanna weed out a lot of people who are probably trying to sell you something, but there could just be a lot of people that they don't wanna necessarily identify themselves as a sales prospect, but they have a question or something. So in this instance, we kind of follow the same path where we want to gather their information, right? Their name, their email, their company, their phone number. And then we say, all right, how would you like to get in touch with us? Like, do you want to leave a message for the team, call the office, or do you want to book a meeting right now? And it's the same thing as before, except we're also giving them the option to call the office, but we're letting them know what time they can call the office. Now, one of the things uh, that you may or may not have noticed is inside a chat bot, you can have all of these actions, right? Where you can act, you have an action for, this is an action for just general text. Earlier we have, these are actions for ask questions and gather information and save these two contact properties. Another ap action you can use is enroll in a workflow. So we've created this workflow that is manual enrollment only. So the only way somebody will enroll in this workflow is if when it's inside the chat bot, we say, okay, now enroll this contact in this workflow. So that's why we've named this the chat bot, assign a lead and create a deal, right? So what we've done here is once we're in the workflow and we say, okay, or in the chat bot editor and we say enroll in the workflow, we're adding a one minute delay just to allow things to process. Then you can rotate this record to an owner, assign it to a specific owner, make sure that you know anything, like we wanna set the company owner or, or any other information that we need to route. Now we're creating a deal and we're assigning it to the owner and we're sending this internal notification. Boom, it's literally that simple. And you can do this for a variety of scenarios. So just know that at any point, as long as you've gathered enough information to create a contact record, you can then trigger other automations from inside the chatbot, regardless of which path they went down. Those are the first two paths. I'm interested in your solutions or I have a general inquiry. If I'm a client and I need support, again, it's pretty simple. This is really gonna depend on how you actually serve your clients. Do you actually create support tickets? Do they have to go to a portal? Or is it really just a matter of, hey, this information needs to get to this person as soon as possible? If I wanted to, yeah, I could submit a ticket here. What's also really cool is if you have a knowledge base and you ask the customer what their problem is, or the chatbot visitor what their problem is, it will literally search within your knowledge base and automatically suggest articles and say, hey, does this article answer your question? There's a lot of really cool things you can do here, but again, in this case, all we're doing is gathering some information and then routing it to a specific rep, owner, agent, or whatever. If they're interested in a job, awesome. Just send them to your jobs portal and ask them to submit an application. Maybe you want to create a contact record for them first. Okay, if so, ask, ask their name and all of that stuff. Last is the I'm just browsing. And honestly, this seems so innocuous, but it's one of the most common branches that anybody who builds a fully automated chatbot uses. Because sometimes the chatbot will come up and you're like, eh, no, I'll click, I'm just browsing. So like, you know, don't treat me like a prospect. Don't try and sell me stuff. But they're still on your site. So they may be on your site and, inter and interacting with your chatbot for a reason. So maybe there's some value that can be exchanged here. So what we always do is say, I get it. Are you interested in receiving our monthly newsletter? It includes HR tips and best practices for employers. It's that simple, very non-threatening, but we can get you in our CRM, add you as as a sub subscriber and market to you a little bit over time and maybe you find some value as well. So then we say sure or no thanks. If they say no thanks, that's it. No hard feelings. In the meantime, browser resources and solutions, don't hesitate to reach back out. Respect the decision. But if they want to, cool. Let me just get your name and your email and hit subscribe and you're all set. And that will enroll them in a different workflow that sends them a confirmation and maybe assigns them an owner, sets their life cycle stage to subscriber. Really, really simple stuff. You're a small company. You know that your website can and should be an instrument for growth. You want to convert more of the visitors on your website into leads and help them get to the information that they're looking for faster. But you don't have a team who can respond to live chats because it's just not viable. Here's your solution. A fully automated chatbot 
that can assist visitors, it can generate and pass leads to your sales team, route general inquiries, support clients, get direct potential new employees to your job board, and pot potentially even just engage tire kickers and, and subscribe them to your newsletter for long-term nurturing. Simple thing that you can set up in really just a couple of hours. I love this automated chatbot. I find a lot of other companies uh, love it too. If you want any help or questions about doing this, I would suggest leave a comment or you can click a link on our YouTube channel, go back to our website, leave a message for us. You can also do that if you have any just general questions or you wanna suggest other videos that we can make for you. We absolutely love doing these. So if there's certain things you want help with and you want us to make videos for, I would absolutely love to do that. Otherwise, if you like this, please like, hit subscribe. We love doing these things. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.